This is a requested video and I was asked to make a nightstand using Dollar Tree items and I'll be starting off with a chalkboard. I'll be gluing on Dollar Tree plaques to the chalkboard. I made two so that I will have one at the top of the nightstand and one at the bottom. I'm going to leave this overnight to set properly. I'm also going to be using Dollar Tree frames for this project and I'll be removing the parts that I don't need. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Here I'm just simply gluing on the glass to the frame. I'll be using two and I'm going to be holding these two together with Dollar Tree plaques. I made another one of this so that one will be on the left and the other will be on the right. I'm going to leave this overnight to dry as well. Here's a wooden board that I'll use to attach all the pieces together. Apart from using a strong adhesive, I also use screws to hold the pieces together as well. I would like to draw your attention to one very important thing whenever you're doing a DIY like this. You have to be patient to let the strong adhesive set properly to give you a firm hold. You cannot rush things like this. You just have to wait for it to set properly before you continue with the next stage of the project. This turned out really sturdy and as you can see, the points where they meet is where I made sure that I fortified it with plaques. And then I use screws to hold them together as well as a strong adhesive. I'll be covering up the plaques that are showing with gold contact paper. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. The reason why I didn't use the contact paper on the plaques before gluing it on is because the glue would adhere to the contact paper and not to the plaques themselves. That's why I'm attaching the contact paper afterwards. Where the frames meet, here, I made sure that I made provision for it in what I just made. I folded what I made and attached them inside. I'll be carving this part here as well and to give it a different design, I'll be using a different contact paper over a foam board to cover them up. 
I'll be using this Dollar Tree Plax to make the partition for the nightstand. A full list of all the items used for this project is going to be down in the description box below. This sides here are going to be attached on the frames. So I'm going to be using a strong adhesive and screws to attach the plaques. I used just two plaques because that's what could fit here. It's still going to be okay because I'll be having another board over it that will be wider. I covered a board with contact paper and used it here and at the bottom as well. I'll be using sturdy boxes that I have for the drawers. I'm going to attach it to a foam board and then cover the entire thing with contact paper. I'll be using Dollar Tree mirrors and spray painting just the frames gold. I'll be attaching knobs in the middle and I got these knobs from Home Goods a while back and I have a lot of knobs because Home Goods always have beautiful knobs at affordable prices. So these are some of the extra knobs that I had at home that I attached in the middle. You can use a wider box for your drawers but I used this one because it's what I had. Now I love the way this turned out because they're not just pretty but also functional as well. And then at the sides here, you can see through it, which I don't mind because I intend to use this as a bedside table. And then once in a while, when the decor has changed, I will remove the drawers and use it as an extra side table in the living room. When I placed this beside the bed, I noticed that I would have glued the frames horizontally and not vertically to make it look wider. So that's something I'll keep in mind when I want to make another one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.